Greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 coming at you with another installment of Democracy 3 POTUS series. We are in the second year, I believe now. First quarter of the second year of POTUS. My goal in this game is to get reelected and not be shot and killed in the process because last time I played, I was. I got reelected and uh, nine months into my second term, I was shot dead. So, we're going to try to prevent that this time. Uh, things are going pretty well. Good news global economy is doing well and is having a positive effect on our GDP. The vigilante mob situation is now at an end. No more Batman. No need for Batman. Hang up your cape, Bruce Wayne. Because I spent money on the police. Where are the police? Police right there. Maxed out police spending, which was really good, and that's actually not even done having an effect right here. If you see these numbers over here, this is, this has to do with inertia. How slow or how long it takes for things to move, okay? It's going to take four turns to fully implement this policy and its effect on crime. So right now, the effect on crime is that it is cutting it down by 24%. In four turns, crime will be cut down by 32% because of our policies. Alright, uh, violent crime is also going to be cut down. It's going to be cut down quicker though. So it depends on the issue, how the policy will affect the issue. Okay, each policy has a certain amount of time that takes for implementation, uh, a certain amount of delay time. Also, the ministers over here, they do have an effect. If you see right there, this is, uh, adds, this minister, Betty Patterson, adds 8% of the implementation time. She's, you know, her effectiveness is 45%. So that's something to consider. And um, probably going to get into ministers a little bit later. I don't know if we'll do this episode or maybe in um, some succeeding episodes. So right now, um, we still have a surplus. And so that's going down. That's cutting down the debt. And if we check out the charts. Okay, we looked at this last time. We had a lot of policies were implemented in the last quarter. Because of the CO2 tax, this, this carbon tax created a huge surplus. See that right there. And that allowed us to implement all kinds of new policies and try to solve some of these problems that exist in our society. Because actually solving these problems, it will reduce our costs. Okay, that's the strategy that I'm going with right now. I'm using the surplus. Not to necessarily win over groups right away. I still have time to do that. It's only um, the second year. Right now, I'm really concerned with trying to solve these problems in society because by doing so, it'll make society stronger and improve people's opinions along the way. And making a society stronger will will improve things in general. It will improve our income and raise our surplus, hopefully. Especially if we get rid of alcohol. Alcohol is the one that's costing us probably the most. 46 billion general cost. Also, the cost of state health insurance services up 17%. It was higher before, uh, but it's been dropping. So we have to deal with that. We have to get this blue dot right here down below that green line. It's going to take a while to do that, so we have we have time uh, before that actually happens. But there are several things happen helping us out here. There's community policing, okay? There's some inertia there. That's for the alcohol. Uh, there's also the police in general are helping to solve that. Or maybe they actually have already helped really we're waiting for the community community police to come in and play effect. That's a big effect there if you look at that. 32%. It's 
currently it's only cutting it down uh, 1.49. It will eventually cut cut down the alcohol abuse 32.33 percent. So that's that's going to help. Um, crime in general going down. No, no, never mind. I thought, I thought this causes crime. It's not because of crime. Unemployment and poverty. If those two things improve, then alcohol abuse will go down. That would be good. But we have a while before alcohol goes down. Internet crime, we're kind of counting on crime to go down in general right now. And hopefully that will have an effect on internet crime. That's not the top priority. It's not that expensive. It's slightly impacting GDP and slightly increasing crime. And it also sort of pisses everyone off, so eh, maybe we do have to pay some attention to that. We'll see. Before we do that, uh, this one right here, antisocial behavior, this one is about to be killed. It looks like this is below the stop trigger. I'm assuming next turn antisocial behavior will be at an end, which will save us a billion dollars. Um, uh, it will increase the amount of liberals, because right now liberals are down because of antisocial behavior, but when we get rid of it, liberals are going to go up, which is actually not a good thing for me, because liberals hate me. Um, conservatives, this will help out a lot. Conservatives love me, and they are actually a larger voting bloc than liberals. This will really increase, improve the conservative vote. Crime will go down, which I think helps everybody. And tourism will go up, which helps the economy. Okay, asthma epidemic, not much going on there. We're hoping that the environment improves with the uh, car initiatives that we have. The uh, hydro hybrid car initiative. We're hoping that improves the economy. Or the environment. Which, in turn, reduces the asthma. That's what we're hoping for there. Uh, drug addiction, the police. We're hoping the police... Well, uh, they've cut it down. It's going down. Maybe unemployment. If we can bring down unemployment, maybe that will, will help it as the economy improves. Again, the economy itself, the global economy, is still going down for some reason. Even though each newspaper article every quarter says that's going to go up. Homelessness. This is a problem we have to deal with. Probably going to raise unemployment here. Or unemployment benefits here. Haven't decided on that one yet. Um, this one looks like it's ready to, to stop. The competitive economy. I think it's below the trigger. Because of the reduction of corporate tax. So I think next turn, GDP will go up 10% here. Capitalist opinion will improve. Pollution, eh, we gotta work on pollution. Uh, skills shortages, we gotta work on that too. Right here, adult education subsidies. It's gonna take a little bit of time. That might not be enough. Alright, so those are the, the issues that we're dealing with. Before we move on to the next turn, we do have to make a decision on software patents. And last turn, if you remember last episode, we have some some activist groups here who are two of them are not happy with us. Equality now with an explanation point. They are not happy. More of a concern is the human rights society. Okay, that sounds like liberal people to me. Liberal people like their rights. And um, there's about 15 million people in the society, and there's a threat assessment there. So if a handful of these people end up in like a splinter radical group, I might get shot. So I gotta prevent that. Also, liberals hate me. Look at that. They're all the way at the bottom there. And their membership is on the rise. Liberal membership is at 37%. Conservative membership is 62%. Still higher, but I gotta be aware of this. So, I gotta try to appease the liberals a little bit, and um, therefore I'm not I'm going to reject the software patents. Software patents sound reasonable until you realize they can be used to stifle competition and innovation. Hmm. That sounds capitalist. I don't know. 
Uh, a few of the ideas being patented are truly original discoveries, uh, but simply a land grab by lawyers to patent the obvious and sure a virtual monopoly to the tech firms with most lawyers. With most lawyers. This is nothing but a big business protectionism. I'm going to be interested to see how this turns out. I don't know how this turns out. Or at least I can't remember. It sounds like the liberals would like me to reject this. Based on the description up here. Intellectual property law allows companies to protect algorithms. Um, this is unpopular with those who fight for a free internet. That sounds liberal. And those who think that patents are far too general. Let's see. Well, let's see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Okay. Um, I made a lot of moves last turn, so I am not going to make a lot this turn. I'm going to see how these things pan out. Um, I still have 28 little capital. I'm going to gain more before this is over, or going into the next turn. I think we're probably going to get rid of two major problems. This one should be gone, and uh, so should this one. So hopefully that will help. Let's see what happens. Okay, misinterpreting the Constitution and compiling misleading statistics. That's what I've done in the... Uh, <laughs> during the... Uh, Intermission there. Okay, there we go. Two of the problems have been eliminated. Uncompetitive economy is now at an end. Earlier problems of lack of competitiveness by our companies will now subside. Antisocial behavioral crime statisticians are pleased to report that the extent of antisocial behavior in our nation has fallen considerably and is no longer a major cause of crime. Very good. That should appease a lot of people, hopefully. Uh, we have another issue. Whew. Ah, it never ends. Freedom of Information Act. I'll have to look at that in a second. Look at the polls. We're up 54%. Okay. People are indifferent to your government. We estimate getting 54% of the vote in an election. So if there is an election, we should win. And there's our polling details. Okay. Back to that quarterly report. Budget, uh, yeah, it's still, our debt's still at uh, B. Crime is way down. GDP is up. Health is still an issue. Education is still good. Hmm. Uh, global economy is doing okay. Neither boom or bust cycle. Human rights society is actively encouraging its members to oppose our current, the current government. Yikes. Oh, they've gone down a little bit. Did they go down? Or maybe they're going down. They went up from last turn. But this, I think this red arrow now means that they're going to start going down. That's probably because of that decision that we made. Let me check out these liberals real quick. Sophomore patents. Yes, down here. The sophomore, that's what I thought. The liberals would be happy with our decision on the sophomore patents. Right, if you click on the, the group, this is all the things that make them happy or unhappy. The community policing is going to make them happy. Um, these are all different policies that they're either or, and issues that they're either upset with or happy with. They were not help, happy about that uh, banning of the alcohol advertisements. We had to do that. We had to cut down on, on alcohol. They have two uh, cabinet members, each of which are appeasing them. Betty Patterson and Anna James. They have to keep an eye on them too. Betty Patterson, she's still loyal. If this gets down too far, then she might try to resign. All right, and you don't want people to resign because that's gonna, especially with groups that you're dependent on, that would really drive down the liberal opinion. Anna James is another one. Oh, she's horrible. She's inexperienced and ineffective. But we need to support the liberals, or to get the, keep the liberal support, so we can't really remove her. All right, that's that's you know that's complicated. The cabinet there. Um, two problems have been resolved, and look at the surplus. The surplus is now up. So solving those problems, 
GDP went up because of that uncompetitive economy being eliminated. And uh, antisocial behavior, uh, that might have had an effect on crime, crime parts of the economy. So look at the conservatives. The conservatives now love us. I'm still worried about the inheritance tax, but the conservative opinion is way up there. Way up there. Ooh, they went up, they've risen up to top two. They've gone above retirement. And they're both state employees as well. These are these four groups right here are the groups that love me. Patriots, 51%, conservatives, 55%, state employees, 46%, and retired approximately 20%. These groups are the ones that do not like me. Okay, two solve two problems solved. Excuse me. All right, that's going down. And uh, what's going to happen with the rest of these problems? Uh, it's kind of curving off. We're going to have to make a, something else. Have to add something else to get rid of that alcohol abuse. Hmm. Narcotics. Narcotics? Uh, that, that leveled off too. Okay. Homelessness. Homelessness is affected by poverty. Alcohol is affected by poverty. Internet crimes are not, but narcotics they're not affected by poverty either. Interesting. Pollution. Oh man, if we can improve the environment, that's another big one. And the skill shortage. I think this one should hopefully work itself out. Maybe if we improve education. That still has no it doesn't. Uh, that's got time to improve. Maybe technology colleges? Socialists don't like that, and that equality group won't like it. But it won't hurt them that much. And it will only cost two billion. I think we gotta boost the technology college just to boost the education and technology. And maybe that if we do that that could help reduce the skills shortage okay technology colleges boost it that's six uh, political capital which we still have 40 political capital nice okay hopefully that will help um, is there another thing I wanted to do? I guess we'll just keep cutting down the deficit. There was one other thing I wanted to do. Narcotics? Oh, yeah, that's right. Unemployment policy. Eee, this is going to cost a lot. That's way too much money. But it really reduced homelessness. And poverty. Capitalists will not like it. Not by too much. I think the capitalists, they should be like, their opinion of us should be improving. Not really. Okay. Okay. If. That's not a lot of money. It doesn't cost us too much. Either. I want to improve unemployment benefits. I'm not sure I need to go that high. That would really improve the opinion of the poor people. It would reduce poverty, which will have uh, further effects. It will increase unemployment. Look at that. Oh, I don't want that. Let's just raise it 40. 40 billion. Raise up to 40 billion. Yeah, that should be good. 
won't upset people too much. Reduce the poverty and reduce the homelessness. Alright. I'm going to go with that. Going with that. And that's everything I'm going to do this turn. And probably this episode. Let's, we have to make a decision on this, though. Uh, Freedom of Information Act. Okay, there have been calls for a law to increase the availability of information held on databases about citizens without their knowledge. These include the records held by private medical companies, insurance companies, and debt collection agencies, as well as information held by government departments. I think the people who are most upset with this are going to be the state employees, and they pretty much, they like us. So, I'm not too worried about that. Um, freedom, again, freedom makes me think of liberals. Liberals like their liberties. Liberties are freedoms. So, I think that we have to support this act just to prevent from getting shot. Propose the Freedom Act. It is essential that we have this law passed as it is one of the checks and balances required in any truly free society. Average law-abiding citizens should not be spied on or monitored by multinational corporations with computer databases and the potential for abuse by government agencies if citizens cannot view what data is being stored is huge. Alright, Freedom of Information Act. We're going to propose it. Boom. And let's see how this all turns out. Alright, we are appointing our friends to top jobs and compiling misleading statistics. Everything politicians should do. Now we have some problems though. Okay, Betty Patterson is upset. Oh, she's liberal. Yikes. <laughs> yep, people <laughs> people are stressed out. Uh, doctors have warned that our businesses are working people too hard, which is leading to dangerously high levels of stress for people with full-time jobs. There are calls for limits on the hours that people work uh, to be better enforced by central government. Hmm, you know what? Oh, what happened there? We went down. Yikes. Our liberal opinion went up, and that's because of the Freedom of Information Act. So why is Betty Patterson upset? Isn't she liberal? She's liberal! Give me a break. Poor people are happy. That's because of, uh, I think the unemployment benefits. Yeah. Okay, well who was upset about that? Somebody had to be upset. Yeah, capitalists were upset. But they like us. Conservatives are still good. State employees, I think they're also upset by that. Freedom of Information Act. But they love us. So now we have five groups that are in the green here. Poor people, state employees, conservatives, retired, patriots. Hmm. Having a problem with the, with the uh, liberals over here. I can't lose that minister, because that would really hurt things if I lose the minister. Everyone that everyone group, they're important. Liberals, though. Oh, wow, conservative membership is going down. Liberal membership is going up. That's what, that's what's part of the problem. Alright, this stress epidemic called for a higher, uh, more enforcement of the labor laws. It's pro-employer at the moment. If I up this pro union, that doesn't cost too much. It's going to hurt productivity. Capitalists will be upset. But the socialists will love us. And that might save that minister, too. Maybe we don't do it all the way. Reduces the work week. Reducing the work week doesn't have too much of an effect. 
I'm gonna have to consider this. Okay. It's been about 20 minutes, and I don't want to ramble on anymore. Uh, or take a, you know, anymore. Whoa! I did not notice that. That is a huge surplus. 214? Wow. Okay. I have some things to consider. I'm gonna get back to you guys. That's enough for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. And uh, next episode, we're gonna see how to spend some more of this surplus. And I gotta figure out how to win over these liberals. Before I get shot. Oh my god, look at that society. It's up again. They're gonna shoot me. They might not reelect me. We've got some issues. I've got ten turns until the election. Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.